Upon receiving this communication, the government of Ghana and FIFA have continued to engage. You recall that we started engagements with them right from the onset. We have continued to engage even at the highest levels. And the two parties, that's the government of Ghana and FIFA, have agreed to meet on Thursday, August 16, 2018, at the FIFA headquarters to discuss a number of issues. The focus of that discussion is to explore means by which the two parties, that's the government of Ghana can, and FIFA, can finalize arrangements on a mutually acceptable route for this final phase of resolving the observed infractions in football administration in Ghana. Indeed, both parties have taken the first joint step, as I mentioned, in setting up the liaison team led by Dr. Kofi Amoa to carry out some aspects of football administration. FIFA, in the earlier meetings with us, reaffirmed their commitment to zero tolerance for corruption in football, and they also expressed their commitment that they have no problem with Ghana enforcing our domestic laws generally. Now, what the two parties are currently not agreed on is the final route to take in solving the problem permanently. Whether we should go by liquidation or we should go by another route which achieves the same objective but does not end up in the position considered by FIFA as a breach of their statutes. For the avoidance of doubt, the government of Ghana does not share that position that FIFA puts out, but we are continuing to engage with them because we believe that we can still find a common ground to achieve the same objective. 